and uh, along with that, we cleft the lip to make it more cut. Some people like change, and they specifically like to make changes to their bodies. It was a arduous project to redesign my body, but also thrilling. And it was full of both ecstasy and suffering. Others have no choice in the matter because certain changes stem from cultural traditions. Remember kids, flossing is important. <laughs> Especially if you're a lizard man. That's right. Join us as we look at 20 people who overdid their bodies. 20. Mustafa Ismail, Egyptian Popeye. It turns out that eating your spinach won't give you the world's largest arms. Mustafa Ismail, a Massachusetts bodybuilder, consumes 7 pounds of protein, 9 pounds of carbohydrates, and 3 gallons of water every day to maintain upper arms that are 31 inches in circumference, the size of a tiny man's waist. Skeptics believe Ismail's enormous biceps and triceps are the result of steroids or some other artificial means, and Guinness World Records is undecided about whether to acknowledge him. He swears, though, that they are all natural, the consequence of a hard training regimen he began when a guest at his uncle's wedding in Egypt criticized his chubby body. He's known as the Egyptian Popeye. Having the world's largest arms isn't simple. He gets enough protein from poultry, seafood, and smoothies to power his daily two-hour workouts, in which he lifts weights of up to 600 pounds. To flush out his system, he also takes mineral and vitamin pills and consumes plenty of water. Then there's the matter of clothes shopping. Because the rest of Ismael's body is ordinary, finding shirts that fit his arms without making him look like a child playing dress-up is difficult. Not to mention the controversy that erupted when Guinness declared him to have the world's greatest upper arm muscles, prompting accusations that he was using steroids or other artificial means. Strangers said he utilized steroids or had implants in his arms on the internet. Others thought he may have injected synthol, a synthetic oil substance used by bodybuilders to fluff muscular fibers into his muscles. Ismail added that seeing all these comments saddened him, noting that he has no scars from surgery, and that maintaining a wife in the United States and family members in Egypt doesn't leave him with enough money to buy expensive synthetic oils. He even traveled to Tokyo for a Fuji TV documentary in which he was examined by impartial specialists who took blood samples and x-rayed his muscles. They discovered nothing unusual. Some of Ismail's fellow amateur bodybuilders at his gym defend him and claim that his arms are natural. 17. Dennis Avner Cat on the Prowl Cat has gone to great lengths to satisfy his compulsion. Through extensive Expensive and painful surgery, he is gradually modifying his appearance. The 44-year-old was raised in a Native American community made up of Huron and Lakota people. He claims his faith in their traditions inspired him to shift into his totem animal, a tiger. Even though he was born Dennis Avner, he now goes by the Native American name Stalking Cat, which he abbreviates to Cat. He began his metamorphosis at the age of 23 when he got his first tiger stripe tattoos. He's had surgery to give himself a feline cleft lip and another to give himself a flat, tilted nose through throughout the years. He's also had his ears extended and paid for brow implants. Cat also attaches fake whiskers to specific attachments bored through his lip every morning. Cat lives in Guate, a small town in the Southern California hills, and supports himself by repairing computers for the locals. Steve Hayward, a body modification artist, performs the surgeries on him in Phoenix, Arizona, because it is prohibited in the United States for a medical professional to alter someone's look beyond what society considers normal. Cat is unable to have surgery. This also means Cat must go through surgery surgeries without any painkillers. Only qualified doctors are allowed to give anesthetics in the United States. It's something he's always wanted to do, something he's always needed to do. But finding someone who can do it is another problem entirely. He admits the change process does not bring him much joy, but it does bring him closer to his goal. Cat claims his goal is to become the ideal cross between a cat and a human, combining the best qualities of both. Cat could have an uncommon sort of body dysmorphic disorder, according to Professor Kevin Gurney of the Institute of Psychiatry. 16. Dolly Parton's Looks Dolly Parton, a country music superstar recognized for her ageless skill and outspoken wit, has been extremely open and public about her plastic surgery treatments. In an appearance on The Howard Stern Show, the 77-year-old superstar revealed details about her beauty routine. When questioned about her most recent operation, she stated it was crucial to choose the best doctors, be cautious, and not overdo it, because you never know what will happen when you go under the knife. There have been hundreds of interviews in which she has shown her support and enthusiasm 
enthusiasm for plastic surgery. From Barbara Walters to Oprah Winfrey, the singer has been repeatedly questioned about her weight, face, and cosmetic decisions. In the most recent revelation, Parton revealed her delicate approach to cosmetic treatments, emphasizing moderation. She attempts to complete small tasks at a time, avoiding the big issues. She uses fillers and Botox only when necessary, and is cautious even then. Parton's candidness about her cosmetic journey continues to appeal with audiences, demonstrating her honesty and confidence in navigating the changing environment of beauty standards. 15. Brazilian Hulk A Brazilian bodybuilder who injected himself with oil to gain muscular mass died on his 55th birthday. Valdir Sagado had been using potentially lethal synthol injections for years, risking strokes and infections to build massive biceps, pectorals, and back muscles. Sagado previously stated, that his physical influences were Arnold Schwarzenegger and fictitious characters such as the Hulk. People constantly nicknamed him the Hulk, Schwarzenegger, and He-Man, which he adored. He doubled his biceps, but wished they were bigger. He was never content. The Sao Paulo native was cautioned that continuing usage of the injections could result in amputation, nerve damage, and muscular deformation. His biceps grew to 23 inches after he began injecting himself. He had become known as the monster on the streets and was proud of the reputation. He shared photos of his bodily change on social media and even dubbed himself Valdir Synthol on Instagram. While the bodybuilder had 1.7 million TikTok followers, local media stated that he lived a solitary lifestyle with few friends or visitors. Sagato rented a property built behind his family's house, and on the day of his death, he complained of difficulty breathing. He crawled through the back of the house and up to the front and then pounded on the window for help, claiming to be dying. Sagato was transported to a medical institution, but collapsed at the reception desk, looking to have suffered a heart attack. 14. Ethan Bramble Tattooed Vessel At the age of 11, Ethan Bramble began changing his body, beginning with lengthening his earlobes. He's since covered himself in ink from head to toe, slashed the tips of his ears, and split his tongue in half. Bramble chose to cover up all his ink in the latest episode of the YouTube Transformation series, with the help of a makeup artist named Susie to surprise his partner, Meg. Meg noted in an interview for the series that she couldn't imagine Bramble without tattoos because she has never seen him without them. When asked why he got so many tattoos, Bramble explained explained that he wants to stand out from the crowd. He also stated that while many people believe his tattoos have a deeper meaning, this is not the case because, at the end of the day, he does this to his body because he thinks it's cool. The entire procedure took 2.5 hours, and the results were incredible. It was time for Bramble's big unveiling after Susie finished covering up his tattoos. Bramble took one glance at himself in the mirror before showing Meg his metamorphosis and was completely taken aback. Bramble couldn't help but laugh after first seeing himself, exclaiming he felt virtually naked. Meg Meg's immediate reaction upon seeing Bramble was to give him a kiss and an embrace. She admitted she preferred him with his tattoos once reality sank in. Even though Bramble has previously stated he wished he was tattoo-free to avoid judging stares at fine dining establishments, he ultimately enjoys his totally tattooed appearance. 13. Fox's Svelte Waist Pixie Fox made it her life mission to resemble a living cartoon. The surgery-obsessed beauty who has spent over $120,000 on her pursuit for physical perfection has now had permanent implants inserted in her eyes to make them cartoon green. Now, the former electrician, who had already had a total of 18 cosmetic surgeries, has spent an additional $6,000 on eye implants to further her cartoon fantasy. Pixie, who was born near Stockholm, Sweden, has always been fascinated by cartoon characters such as Jessica Rabbit and Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. She describes their curves and tiny waist-to-hip ratio as the ideal feminine physique. Her 19 procedures, some of which were funded by admirers, have helped her measurements rise from 30-24-34 to an eye-watering 38-16-39. Pixie, who stands at 5 feet 4 inches, is not done yet and aims to have custom bum and hip implants installed shortly and hopes to shatter the world record for the smallest waist. The current record is 15 inches and she aims to lower it to 14 inches. Some people are simply never happy. 12. Nina Arsenault Nina Arsenault, a Canadian performance artist, freelance writer, and former sex worker, works in theater, dance, film, photography, and visual art. Arsenault was raised in a trailer park in Beamsville, Ontario. She holds two master's degrees. Arsenault worked as an acting instructor at York University before making the shift. She knew she was transgender in August 1996, and her transition began in earnest in 1998. By 2007, she had spent more than $150,000 on surgery during her transition, which she had paid for with sex work as a webcam girl, dancer, and self-described hooker. Arsenault dated Canadian killer and suspected cannibal Luca Magnata in 2002, before he gained reputation for his deadly activities. She claims Magnata was preoccupied with becoming famous 
and made awful statements about hurting kittens when they were dating. She believes the purported murders were committed while under the influence of narcotics. 11. Martina Big Malika Kubwa, also known as Martina Big, is a German model and actress who has unusually enormous breast implants and has undergone a perma-tanning operation to achieve a dark skin complexion, including brows and eye color. Big now identifies as black. On December 3, 2012, Big had breast augmentation surgery with huge, expandable implants. Since then, she has had 23 surgeries to increase the volume of her breasts, resulting in a bra size of 32S. Big received a new drug being developed to treat skin cancer in January 2017. This caused her complexion, eyes, brows, and hair to darken, giving Big the appearance of a black lady. In February 2018, she flew to Kenya to live with the Maasai and Samburu tribes. A local clergyman christened her as a legitimate Kenyan woman. Malaika Kubwa was given her baptismal name. In Swahili, Malaika means angel and Kubwa means big. In May 2019, she had her old breast implants changed with new, larger, expandable models, the largest breast implants in the world, each with a rated volume of 20,000 cubic centimeters. 10. Cindy's Perfect Face Cindy Jackson is a television personality, author, and aesthetic consultant. Jackson has lived in England since 1977 and is British-American. She received a former world record 52 cosmetic treatments, including tooth whitening, filler injections, AHA peels, Botox, three facelifts, and liposuction, at a total cost of nearly $60,000. Jackson lost her global record for undergoing the most cosmetic treatments after 17 years in the Guinness Book of Records. Jackson has declared as a member of Mensa that the operations she has undergone have improved her life. 9. The Lizard Man Being a freak entails embracing one's differences, and Eric Sprague is proud of his. He transformed himself into a green-scaled, fork-tongued lizardman about 20 years ago. Sprague's physical alterations took years and included a full-body tattoo of green scales, a medically split tongue, filed teeth, and subdermal implants in his brows, as well as over 700 hours of tattooing. But since his change, he's made a living off his reptilian skin, performing sideshow tricks like suspending weights from his body piercings, sword swallowing, and, why not, shoving a gigantic corkscrew through his head. There's no simple explanation for why he did it. He just wanted to, although he understands why people find it difficult to comprehend doing anything like this. But if it doesn't harm anyone else, he argues, respects the decision, and I most certainly agree. 8. Vanilla Chamu A Japanese woman has undergone a remarkable physical change that has included more than 30 cosmetic surgeries, totaling $102,000. Vanilla Chamu, a model, aspires to continue going under the knife until she achieves her lifetime ambition of looking like a French doll. Photos of Vanilla before her initial surgeries show a pretty mousy Japanese girl with facial characteristics that are almost indistinguishable from the odd and obviously more Western-looking face she currently has. Certain plastic surgery procedures, such as double eyelid surgery and nose jobs, are becoming increasingly popular among Asian women who want to seem more Western. Vanilla has undoubtedly undergone those operations, but her extensive list of procedures also includes liposuction, eyelash implants, dimple formation, and breast implants. However, Vanilla's current appearance is insufficient because her ultimate ambition is to become a perfect living French 7. The Superman After doctors discovered that Herbert Chavez, a Filipino man, had been injecting himself with toxic ab fillers, they refused to give him any additional cosmetic treatments. Herbert, who claims to be the largest Superman fan in the world, spent the last two decades of his life trying to seem more and more like Clark Kent, Superman's everyday alter ego. He's also known as the Plastic Surgery Superman and the Philippines Superman on the internet. In the last 20 years, Herbert has undergone 23 surgeries, including skin whitening, nose jobs, liposuction, and jaw realignment, to name a few. He also wears blue lenses to imitate Clark, with whom he has had a strong bond since he first became a fan of the show at the age of five. 6. Lucky Diamond Rich Lucky Rich Diamond was at the top of his game in 2007, traveling the world, earning ridiculous money doing circus acts, and recently being named the world's most tattooed guy by Guinness World Records. He was destitute, living in a storage facility, addicted to crystal meth, and on the verge of going insane by 2017. Rich got his first tattoo, a little juggling bat on his hip, when he was 16 years old in 1987. He made it easy to hide since he was frightened his mother would disapprove. The more tattoos he received, the more popular he became, and he was able to travel 
all around the world, making money as a street performer and partying until dawn every night. Rich covered everything from his eyelids to his gums to his genitals to become the world's most tattooed guy. Because he has tattoos over tattoos over tattoos, he is completely covered. Rich was unconcerned about the stairs. Instead, he felt sad for individuals who had to work from 9 to 5. He was raking in huge sums of money and appeared to be the happiest man on the globe, but he was terribly depressed. Rich's 30-year career included a lot of drinking, but what started as a few beers quickly escalated into lines of cocaine and then a crystal meth addiction. He'd be clean for years at a time, but he'd inevitably revert to his old habits. Rich had always led a nomadic existence, but when he began doing drugs too frequently to even perform, homelessness became an unavoidable reality. Rich knew he'd never be able to stay clean while still performing, so he went to work for a construction firm. Rich is still the world's most tattooed guy, but he's more likely to be recognized in the supermarket than on stage. He claims he is unconcerned about the glances, tattoos, performing arts, and the arts in general saved his life. 5. Glamorous Doll Amanda Amanda Lepore is an American model, celebutante, singer, and performance artist who identifies as transgender. She was a former club kid who has been in commercials for a variety of corporations. Lepore has had cosmetic surgery on almost every feature of her body that can be changed. Her derriere has been injected with silicone, her nose has been shrunk, her forehead has been elevated, and her hairline has been reduced. Her cheeks get fillers on a regular basis, and her breasts have been augmented three times. At the youthful age of 19, one of the most recognized transgender mainstays on the New York party scene revealed to having had a sex change operation. When asked how much her cosmetic treatment has cost in total, the busty blonde simply remarked that there's a reason she's known as the most expensive body on earth. 4. Amir Tatalu Amir Tatalu is an Iranian singer, rapper, and songwriter. He is one of Iran's most prominent and controversial artists, known for his full-body tattoos and frequent open discussions on politics and social issues affecting Iranian youth. He is currently in Iran and has been arrested for criticizing the Iranian government's human rights record in his music and on social media. He completely transformed his body by covering it with tattoos. The transformation took six years to complete, and he is unrecognizable. 3. Jackie Stallone Jackie Stallone was an American astrologer, dancer, and wrestling promoter. She was the mother of three children, including actor Sylvester Stallone, singer Frank Stallone, and actress Tony Dalto, whom she had with her former spouse Anthony Felitti. While she was alive, she had countless botched procedures that left her looking like a chipmunk with a mouth full of walnuts. She passionately believed in plastic surgery, but thought Beverly Hills doctors were overrated hacks. Aside from having her cheeks botched, before and after photos of Jackie show botched nose procedures and botched facelifts. The images are extremely alarming, particularly the lip injections before and after photographs. 2. Farah Abraham Farah Abraham was born in Omaha, Nebraska, in the United States. Abraham, who was 17 at the time, was chosen to appear on MTV's 16 and Pregnant, a reality show that documented the lives of pregnant teens around the United States. The news of her pregnancy generated friction between her and her mother, who referred to her as a whore and prevented her from getting an abortion. Abraham was forced to stop cheerleading due to her pregnancy. Furthermore, and to make matters worse, the father of her kid died in a car accident while filming. Sophia Laurent Abraham, the couple's daughter, was born on February 23rd, 2009. In 2009, Abraham's episode of 16 and Pregnant aired. She was cast in the spin-off series Teen Mom later that year, which followed Abraham during her first years as a mother. Throughout Teen Mom, Abraham and her mother had a tumultuous relationship, with her mother being prosecuted with assault in an Iowa court for beating her daughter. Abraham began attending a therapist to talk about her tumultuous connection with her family, as she couldn't cope with her mother's actions and her grief over Sophia's father, Derek Underwood, and his death. Farah later established to Derek's family that Derek was Sophia's father through a paternity test and was subsequently faced with a lawsuit brought by Derek's mother seeking grandparents' visitation rights, despite having had no prior contact with Sophia. 1. Sehar Tabar Fatma Kishvand, better known by her Instagram handle as Sahar Tabar, is an Iranian influencer who rose to notoriety in 2017 for her alleged use of cosmetic surgery in photographs of herself posted on Instagram, which was makeup and Photoshop. She was said to have undergone up to 50 plastic surgeries to change her appearance. After being detained on charges of blasphemy and illegally gaining money, Tabar was questioned on Iranian national television in October 2019. In December 2020, Tabar was sentenced to 10 years in jail. Tabar's Instagram photos have amassed almost 486,000 followers. Unnatural skin coloring and distorted facial characteristics, such as accentuated lips and a sharp, turned-up nose, made the photos stand out. Tabar claimed in a 2017 interview with Sputnik News 
that the photographs were mostly manufactured using cosmetics and Photoshop, with cosmetic operations limited to rhinoplasty, liposuction, and injectable fillers in her lips at the time. Some of the photographs and videos Tabar shared with her followers appeared to be carefully manipulated to look like Hollywood celebrity Angelina Jolie, but she disputed this. Tabar was arrested in Tehran in 2019 on charges of blasphemy, instigating violence, illegally acquiring property, violating the national dress code, and encouraging young people to commit corruption, and the arrest was made in response to public complaints. When she was arrested, her Instagram account was removed. Three additional female Instagram influencers were jailed in Iran three days later. For a pre-trial interview aired, Tabar was introduced as a zombie. Tabar asserted that she did not appear like her Instagram photographs since they were severely photoshopped to look like the eponymous character in Corpse Bride, even though her face was blurred in the broadcast. She informed the journalist that her childhood desire was to be famous, and that despite her mother's protests, she had continued to grow her Instagram popularity. Tabar revealed that she did not finish high school, and the broadcast said that her attempts to acquire online popularity had prevented her from continuing her education. I have no problem with people wanting to look different as long as they're not hurting anyone in the process. However, it's not my cup of tea. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.